What is up in this John? It's your boy IBS Kelso and today we got the controller cam going on. I do have just a regular PS5 black controller. Uh, just gonna show how I kind of, you know, move around the track and how I kind of touch base. So maybe you're missing out on something, how you're supposed to maneuver in certain spots. So you can always pause and all that stuff. Huge shout out to Cryco for creating me such an amazing uh, USA gear skin. Also with a Cryco YZ250F. And I'm not gonna lie, man, I think the 2023, you know, I think in the next update, it's definitely gonna be out of the pack. But right now, it's kind of S tier. And it's kind of like going its way, you know, lead, seeing its way out of the door by the end of the season. So maybe, I don't know. It could be to where, you know, they know it's OP and they're gonna keep it in. And, you know, a lot of people love that. But hey, we never know. But let's lock in. We're here at Mount Morris. Gonna lock a little bit of banana bike some kawasaki next to me see if we can get a good start here i do have a 100 tire on the back so i don't know how good that's going to be for a start but go 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 Hundred well, tires are not the best for starts it's really kind of just for um after starts kind of good game good thing i slowed down dude holy smokes so many people oh fall okay k i thought i'm surprised k saved that dude he literally was tossed tossed sideways so we got a good little battle here and hit fourth gear now if you guys don't know a higher gear usually if you're not necessarily landing bad but as long as you're in a higher gear your suspension actually eats up really well on bumps so just a, just a kind of a note in your head what i've started to realize that the higher gear you are and you end up like jumping pretty far or in the air if you switch up the fourth gear fifth gear it actually soaks up pretty nice now i don't know who's out in front and i don't know if he's on a 250 or not but here's buns Throwing it up in my face. I'm going to play a little bit of tag the toe. I don't know what that means, but a little cat and, cat and mouse. I think I'm just going to ride behind him for a second. See if I can just see if he's going to make any huge mistakes. I can capitalize off of it because I don't think just like that cross up and stuff. I don't think I need to get too close to him. That way I make a mistake from off of his mistake. You know, that'd be really bad. So right now with the Race just started at five minutes plus one. As you can see, I should have. <laughs> glad I kind of kept my distance because that would have been pretty bad if I went with them. So now we can kind of go focus on whoever's out in front. She's already at the bottom of the hill. Might be a 250 KTM or 450 KTM. I don't really know. We'll lock in. I know you guys are probably looking like, man, you like keep your left stick completely pushed up the whole time. I don't know why I ride like that. But it really just helps me have congressional leaning or like really smooth leaning left and right. And then obviously my right analog stick is just for the opposite counter leaning stuff. But, and I also am still running auto sit. It just really helps in a lot of situations, especially if you already know how to sit and stand, whip and all that. Kind of just, it helps out a lot. Now, if you start this game with auto sit, you're probably not going to understand the means of how like to use auto sit like to the best of your ability. So I recommend not using auto sit when you first start this game, but you know, down the road, I think it's really viable, really helpful. Third gear, third gear. Now about seven, eight seconds off the pace from whoever's in front. He's kind of just moving. I just keep a good pace. I should be able to get catch up to him, right? Maybe. Saw the pins if he's on that 450 or not. If he's on a 250, man, that guy's absolutely moving. Props to him for show. Guess I'll have to check that out. At the end of the race, unless I catch him. Ooh! Big whipperoo. Nice. Scrub. Say third gear and just slow her down. I've, I've noticed that when I go closer to second gear and stuff, I, I tend to slide out in that spot a little bit a little bit weird i guess it's just very slick right there so you got to be on the lookout for just understanding what gear you need to be in oh looks like he did make a mistake though he is on a 450 he is on a 450 ktm so i guess we're gonna have to work off of that and work on consistency let's go fourth gear down these big bumps make his same line i shouldn't have went down the second third gear is gonna do me fine right here to get a nice scrub down the second and just drive should be able to make it all the way up top. Now let's go scrub. Let's go fourth gear.
Connect, connect. Nice. I will take that. We shaved it down to about three seconds now since he did go down. So we got a pretty good little battle going on. Oh, man. If I would have been in third gear, I would have been able to make that no problem. Guess I just wasn't trusting my gearing up in third to lug it. L on me. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Say as low as possible in that rut, so you don't have, so you don't like jump up. I've realized that when I, when you stay standing up through that and then you sit down, it actually pops you higher in the air than what you want to be. So you want to make sure you stay low because if it pops you up in the air, you're getting connected into the next rut. And that next rut is so sharp, you might get kicked out. It's kind of like an RNG situation. Gucci here, another little scrub, staying low. Looks like somebody's down again. Got some yellow flags going on. That might be him on the KTM, which it is. So right now, I think I have this guy beat respectfully and like staying consistent at the moment, which I might have just ate my own words, but... Um... I mean, realistically, the best thing I can do is just stay as close as that possible for the whole moto, which he goes down again. He goes down again. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why you never give up on the beat. Take this inside for sure. Scrub, second gear. See if I can make that easy peasy. Oh, dude, I don't know if he, wait. No, he didn't. Okay, I thought he disconnected. <laughs> I was gonna say like, no way you lost the lead and you wanna quit, bro. You can literally fight back, man. I, I, I'm probably bound here due for a mistake here soon. Let's just focus on our race, right? Slow her down, drive up out of that. All right, let's go third gear. This third gear will let me connect and I should be able to lug through that E-road and pop me up high enough. Let's go up to fourth gear, soak up all these bumps. Cause this big bump right here, you do not want to bounce. Which I think I have my, high, my rebound respectfully pretty up there. Like a good, I think my speeding up my rebound is what's keeping my back end pretty nice. As long as you have a good rebound setting for your back tire, not more or less your front tire, but your back tire, keep it more planted, I think you should be good. And I knew I was due for a stake here sooner or later. I don't want him to come jumping on me. So I was looking back. And my first mistake. No! Scrubberoo again. Alright, back up to third. I do not want to go second gear through here. Nice. Pull back. Push up. Seat mounts. I try to get let's try to rail the outside, because if you can rail this outside and stay close to the SpongeBob, you actually get a really good line to there. So you can actually hit a good nice triple up here. Go fourth gear, absorb these bumps, easy peasy. I'll take the outside this time, why not? Why not? Sit down early so I can actually scrub even tighter. And full send up, baby, because I'm him! And that was it. Wow, I didn't even know that was last lap, to be honest with you. <clears throat> All right, we were able to get a race here at Southwick. Huge shout out to HSM for just hosting this uh, nice little back and forth Mount Morris and uh, Southwick spot, so. I really haven't tried the Yamaha in sand at all. And I know that, you know, doing a little bit of practice, the spike really caters just having to stay in second gear. If you're on a regular track, third and fourth gear is gonna get you everywhere you need. But because you can actually rev this bike really high RPMs and actually keep a lot of a lot of movement in second gear, I think it's gonna work out, but you really can't go past like third gear at all or, or else you're lugging. And you need to stay second gear a lot. So that's what we're gonna probably do here a lot in this race. So <laughs> Let's lock in. I think it's another five minute and then um an IRL racing actually. I think this show's about to start. So let's try to lock this in. Do appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it this far, hit that like button, subscribe button. I'm on the outside gate. So hopefully I don't get no oh, drop down. See if I can make a nice little cut in or probably just stay wide for a second. To avoid the carnage! 
Unfortunate. Thought I could have avoided the carnage, and it just doesn't matter. Someone's bike always needs to fly just a little bit more, or roll a little bit more into your liking. Don't make this cut in, please. Don't make this cut in. Thank you. Oh no, I'm gonna take a little bit of that outside. I'm taking just a chunk of that outside. Should I take the inside, dude? Not bad. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. Nice. <laughs> dude, I'm so glad I kind of sit back now and just wait for somebody to do something. Like, unfortunate that I couldn't do anything from the beginning. Like, that that's not on me. But some of this dude is just absolutely absurd. Take this inside first gear. Yes, sir. Second gear. Oh my gosh. If we still pull that, let's go. Not too far off the pace. I know we can catch up. There's going to be a lot of mistakes happening here soon. So I just need to be able to capitalize off a lot of it. Seal goes down. Another guy goes down. So inside, the inside's really smooth there. See, that's when you can kind of lug in the third gear. And kind of just rail all that. Looks like they're going for the big boy jumps. I'm just going to roll it. Take this second. That berm just helps out so much better instead of the inside one. I don't think it just kind of holds you enough. Go fourth gear right here at least and pull just a bit. Let's go second gear. Take the full outside. Like I got my boy Notlaw right in front of me. I don't even think he knows this is me. I'm under an alias. Maybe, maybe he might know. Like taking this little inside spot. I would go fourth gear right here and just hold it. Give him a little wave. I want to hit the gritty on his front door. Get the full outside as well here. Got across. Take this inside line. If he's still behind me, I definitely want to hit the gritty again. Stay nice and low. On next game's mode. You literally just gotta let the bike literally soak all those bumps in in order for the bike to slow down. You do not wanna actually get on the throttle at all or you're freaking donezo. What just happened? Oh! <laughs> what just happened? Oh my goodness. Dude, that bike is washing, dude. Made it up. Made it up into almost podium level VIP action. I think after this, we literally have 450s kind of just leading the way, so it's nothing I can really do there, especially in sand. They're going to lug no matter what. Track looks absolutely gnarly, though, IRL. Nobody in, in Group B could like, literally pass their uh, spots. So by the time you guys are watching this video tomorrow or, you know, I really haven't watched any of the stuff. I've really only seen qualifying, so. But, I mean, also, once again, it's not even ready to be watched. Oh. Messing up just a bit. I don't know who I just hit. Dude, I'm so sorry. Nice little scrub. Triple in. Let me go catch Wes. Best thing I can do is be the next 250 rider up instead of the 450s. I can at least hold that, right? I at least can hold that to my name right now. Like I said, a lot of second gear life right now. That thing's getting deep. I think it has like 0.5 E-Road on this freaking track right now.
Nice. There we go. Nice big boy scrub. The third gear. Wes makes a little minor mistake. I can actually probably capitalize this as long as I don't make, get any weird physics. Go inside to inside, inside to inside. Up the second. Why not? I'll take this inside. I'll match. I'll match his flavor. I'll match his flavor. If you want that middle rut as well. The inside is just too tight of an angle. Nice little scrub for a triple. We'll scrub again. Probably go fourth gear and just absolutely send it, which I can. Drop down the second. Last lap cheese is coming up. Get that podium spot. Let's take it from him. Let's take it from him. Let's take it from him. Oh, he's getting a little froggy. He's getting a little froggeroo. Wessie. Smith and Wesson. Nice little battle going here. I take that inside. Egan versus little Vialski. Egan versus little Vialski. Oh yeah, give me something good to eat. Give me something good. To eat. We both sent it. Oh no, it's gonna be bad. He's gonna use me as a burn. Psych. Not gonna let it happen. I'm gonna take this inside on him though. I'm gonna let him know. I'm here. I'm gonna let him know I'm here. I'm gonna let him know I'm here. And I'm gonna hit the gritty on his front door. No. Come on, at game mode, chat. That's how you make the pass. That's how you become Deegan. And MX bikes, baby. Showboat, let him know. Get in their heads. Ow, he got in my head. <laughs> He's fighting back. He's fighting back, dude. I like the way things are going. Nice little scrub -a Take that middle run. Oh no, I'm almost front tucking. The last lap cheese. The last lap cheese. If it, why not? I'll take the inside. We gotta push, baby. Scrub. Nice little bounce. Scrub. Oh my gosh! Look at the drop from your boy. Sa ba sa. He knows he wants it. I want it too. Oh my gosh! I should have just let him have it. I should have went full outside. No. Oh, that was a good battle, dude. That was a good little battle, bro. Had a little X-Gaze mode for a second, bro. It's a GG if I've ever seen one.